Hey guys, Richard the Filmmaking Fan 279 here, doing a video finally for the first time in 2019 on a school day. But I just got home and I feel like doing another video. This time I'm going to be talking about guilty pleasure movies. So here they are right here. Okay, let's just get my. Hold on. There we go. Let's start off with the first guilty pleasure movie I ever saw, Shrek Forever After. And by the way, the sound has... The volume is turned down so I don't get a copyright claim from these companies. There's the DreamWorks logo, which it's not letting me skip for some reason. Look, don't think I'm pressing on it, but it's not letting me skip. Okay. Don't think I'm going full junk. I'm pressing on my remote and it's not letting me skip over. Let's see if it can make me skip. Wait. Okay, there's a trailer. Which is for, what is it for again? Oh, Megamind, right. It's for Megamind. Which now, every time I skip over, it keeps doing that. And then, and then it has a trailer for Kung Fu Panda 2. That had, here, here, I'll just skip. I'll just put the skip button. I'll just hit the skip button. Okay. Let's see what Shrek Forever After has to offer me on the DVD menu. If I could, if it... Yeah, it just doesn't let me access the skip these for some reason. There we go. Let's go to setup. Okay. Main menu. Scene selection. And sorry if you wanted to guys want to hear what the music is like. I can't show you because I'm not going to risk getting a copyright claim. Okay. Hold on. Then you play the movie. Okay, they have the MPAA ratings in. And there you go. That's the movie. Which I'm not going to show you too much of. Yeah, basically, Shrek Forever After. Guilty pleasure, but I like it. Next up, Garfield the Movie. The one with Bill Murray. Okay, I don't know if it's picking up right. Now, let's pop it in. And... Let's see what the previews are like on this DVD. There's the FBI warning. The attention warning. I think that's another. It's telling you not to bootleg DVDs. 
And there's a Fox DVD video. Oh, you know, I don't know what trailer this is, but it's for a lot of various Fox movies by Cheaper by the Dozen. Uh, I don't remember a lot of these. I don't remember. The Bratz movie trailer and a Strawberry Shortcake trailer. Let me just, I just got to skip over. There's the, P, the MPAA rating. And like, I'm going to use this one. And it's got a song in the background with nice little menu, which is hilarious, a little hilarious menu. Go to that. It's pretty crazy menu. But I want to buy this movie again. I want to buy the perfect collector's edition, the two disc version. The scene selection. So no, so basically, now let's go to Inside Look. What do we have? There's the Inside Look. Robots Preview. Because of Winn-Dixie Preview, it also has the music video for Hala by Baha Men. That's basically weird special features you can't really choose. Now let's play the movie. Yeah, yep. Basically, it's got the Fox Home Entertainment logo. And basically, there you go. You got yourself a very good version of Garfield the movie. So yeah. So hold on, did I? Hold on, it's not. Hold on. What the freak? There we go. It, it, I tapped on my t the disk drive two times. The first two times, they just wouldn't. It wouldn't open, and the th third time. I got it open. So yeah, Garfield the movie. Don't have the artwork, unfortunately. Next DVD, Fun Size. Now, now I gotta do this without, okay, there we go. Sorry if I can't stop moving. I have ADHD, guys, I can't, stop moving this camera in different positions. So there's the camera shaking. So there's the Paramount logo. I can't... Wh why can't I skip over this logo? And besides that version of the Paramount logo, nobody uses and They don't really use anymore. They don't use it. And it's got the trailer still intact. What is this the trailer for? I don't remember because I haven't seen the DVD in a long time. Oh, that is basically. Yeah, I better skip over the previews so that way I don't get copyright. And there's the anti-smoking ad. Okay, fun size. Let's go to setup. You go to setup. You see, get your language selections. Except you don't get an audio. I don't know. Do you get an audio commentary? Scene selections. Let's see. Oh, they don't have special features. 
Darn. Okay. There's the FBI I warning, which I can't skip over for some reason. The MPAA. Can't skip over as well. Why can't I skip over these things? I could skip over the previews, but why can't I skip over everything else? And basically, there you have it. The You got yourself an official movie. There's not too much I can show you. I don't want to get copy protection. Anyway... Fun size. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can rewatch it eventually. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna take a break for a while and then I'm gonna get back to doing this. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, well, I've given myself some time. Now I'm gonna continue with the video. Yeah, I know, Nicolas Cage. I have a Gone in 60 Second poster, as well as added recently Halloween. It's takes a chainsaw massacre next to my killer clans from outer space. Here, I just gotta reset up everything. So this, let's wait for the TV to come on. Okay, next up, Cars Two. Wait, is the sound still off? Yep, it's still off. Now, I do have a problem with this DVD. And it's very different from the other Cars 2 DVDs. Just wait for it to load. The English. There's the Disney logo. All right, here's the problem. No special features. You can go to scene selection. Languages. Subtitles. Main menu. Let's go play. Okay. Like, why did this DVD forget the special features? So there's the Disney DVD logo. There's the... Again, it won't let me skip through. But, you know, at least you got a good version of the movie, although you didn't get any special features. Ugh. But don't you just wish that if you have this version, let me know. But yeah, Cars 2 is my favorite Cars movie even though I don't like the franchise, only because they were made to sell toys. Next up, Happy Feet 1 and 2 collection, but get, the only one we're going to be talking about, we're taking a look at, is this one. Okay? Just get that in there. There we go. There's the FBI warning logo, which is the Warner Brothers version. Oh, I can skip that. Good. Warner Home Video logo. Yeah, yeah, we all seen that before. 
And basically, the previews are left intact. Well, the previews, basically, it's what you get. Okay, if you're hearing sound, I apologize. There. There we go. Scene selection. It's basically the the most boringest main like the main menu is fine. I just don't like this. You know, that, that's what Warner Brothers is doing nowadays, which is just very annoying. Play the movie. The MPAA rating is still there. Well, the MPAA rating, I meant to say. And then, boom, you got yourself the movie. Next up. Fantastic Four, 2005. There's the FBI warning. MPAA rating. <laughs> and there's the... One of my favorite parts with Fox DVDs. Piracy, it's a crime DVD trailer. I love that trailer. So you got Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Back in the game, I think, is the name of the movie. So there you go, Fantastic Four. Hold on. Let's go. Language selections. <laughs> Look at that animation. That's really awesome. And I mean it, guys. It's the most awesome animation I've ever seen for any Marvel or Fox DVD. Scene selections. I didn't. I haven't seen this movie in two years. I want to rewatch it because I love with this. I love this movie. Special features. Now, unlike the Garfield DVD, this has special features, but not. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, now let's go to inside look. Which I usually sometimes think is really crazy they have that. And I think this is the X3 The Last Stand behind the scenes trailer. Which is... That's it. That's the only inside look we get. Play the movie. The Fox Home Entertainment logo. FBI warning telling you not to boot like DVDs. Basically, you get the entire full movie of Fantastic Four. Which I'm not going to show you much because it's copyright. It's owned by Fox, which is now owned by Disney. But, yeah. Next up, Pixels. Now, I have never checked this out on Blu-ray before. I just got this last year because I loved this movie when I first... I remember seeing it when it came out to theaters, but I did not ever... Oh! Here, let's, I'm going to have to, like, 
check. Uh, I'm just gonna have to like. Okay, there's the there it is the Blu-ray disc. Since I can't really, since I, I'm, I don't have a 3D TV. Yeah, it takes a lot. It takes longer for my Blu-ray player to load Blu-rays than DVDs for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. Got that pixel thing fading into real people, meaning that the disc is loading. <sighs> the Sony and eh, Sony Home Entertainment logo. What I, I don't know what that is. Important note. Maybe it's okay. We got some previews. What is this? I think I can fast forward this. I'm gonna fast forward this because I don't know what trailer this is even for. Oh wait, Goosebumps! Oh wait, this is for Goosebumps with Jack Black. That's right. How did I not notice that? Okay, this is Paul Mart. Paul Bart Malt. Blart Mar Mall Cop 2, basically. The second Mall Cop. Guys, my arm is t tired. I have to switch it around a lot of times because I don't... It's an Adam Sandler movie, which I think this is. I don't know what it's for. I don't really care what it's for. Aloha, right. Okay, what's this one? Okay. That's good to know. I don't. Hotel Transylvania 2. It, okay. Hold on. Languages. There we go. Scene selection. Special features. There. Now we play the movie. It's got the MPAA rating, which I'm, which I'm gonna skip over. The FBI warning, again, it won't let me skip over for some reason. This is really stupid. Okay, we got the Sony logo. There we go. Basically the entire movie. That's what I'm saying. Let's just hope. Okay, there we go. Finally, last guilty pleasure I'm going to show you. Mars Needs Moms 3D. Here. I'm just gonna have to do it with. Oh. Ugh, there we go. It's basically huge. Just gotta be careful. It's gonna take a while. Ugh, I 
again, it won't let me skip over the Disney Studios logo. I don't even know why they include like that. It should be just Disney. There's the Disney Blu-ray logo, which I'm going to assume they don't use anymore. Why can I even skip over for the Stay Tuned for Exciting Previews thing? What is this for? Oh, prom! And yeah, we already know what's that. But basically, it's just a Blu ray. And basically, nice menu. Gotta pay attention to what I'm doing on the DVD menu. Bonus features. Set. Okay, let's play the movie. It's weird that they did that. Okay, and basically you got yourself the entire movie. And for some reason, it keeps doing that. Anyway. Basically. <sighs> there we go. Basically, guilty pleasure movies. Everyone's got their guilty pleasures nowadays. Just, I recommend if you like movies that no one else likes, you can like them if you want. I mean, I like those movies. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Richard the Filmmaking Fan 279 here saying goodbye, subscribe, so you can get Patterson eyes. Man, I haven't said that in a long time.